Alright, so this is going to be another review of Windows 7. Um, obviously, it's the beta. And so last time I didn't have like the right drivers, and finally one day I just buckled down and looked for like an hour on Google, and I finally found the drivers I need, as you can see. So if you saw my last review video, then just discard that. This is going to be an updated one. And um, if you didn't see it, then you can see it if you want. But it would kind of be a waste of time. So anyway, getting into the point of this video. I'm going to be doing an updated review, obviously. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and get started with what you see, which is the taskbar. Now, I've never been a fan of the taskbar. I've always preferred OS X's dock, which, I mean, you have to admit, this is a little copied off it, how you can pin stuff to it. It's just like dragging into the dock, but, you know, you have to copy off each other's operating systems to, you know, improve your own. But, I don't know. Anyway, that's a whole other video, but... Um, since this is kind of like the dock, which I've always loved, um, I think that it's a great addition. Um, you can, like, move all your stuff around, like... You could always do that, but I mean, like, with applications that, that are open. Like, I always like to have AIM right next to here, so if I opened AIM, instead of having it here, I can have it here. So it's just kind of a nice thing. I'm not sure if you could do that in Vista or not, but that doesn't matter. But anyway, so I have Firefox open. So I'm just going to open up a bunch of tabs, a bunch of windows. The tabs were kind of pointless, but whatever. Alright, so I'm open a bunch of those. And so one nice feature is what you just see here. You can you're able to see all the windows that you have open. Now these are all gonna be YouTube because that's my home page. But you can go between them, like so if I highlight over one, that's the window that comes up. So it's just kind of a nice thing, like say I'm gonna go back over to this one. I'll just go to Google on this one. So I, if I have YouTube, say on this one, here, I'm just going to close all these, this is kind of nuts. Holy Twitter. But anyway, um, another nice feature like I was just doing is if you go right here, you see that little box, you can close the windows, which is a nice feature. I like that. So you can see here, this is just the, the page with all the um, tabs, and this is Google. So, like I said, like that feature, you can move between the windows. And I just think that's a pretty nice feature, rather than just having like a bunch of things down here in the taskbar. They all just go right behind here, and you can see what's what. So I think that's a pretty cool feature. So, yeah. All right. So closing Firefox. Um, I just what else with the taskbar? You got what else that is open? Like this little blink things, Camtasia. Um, you got. You know, just all your typical Windows stuff. You got your volume, time, but this is something new right here. The show desktop. So let's say I have Camtasia open. Sorry if you hear my dog barking in the background. All right, we'll have Mail. Uh, yeah, Media Player, and Explorer. So I have a cluttered desktop, which always sucks. So you move down here, it goes transparent. It's not really a new feature. You've always been able to show your desktop. However, it does look pretty cool just to like see the outline of your windows. And if you just want to have quick access to your desktop, it's pretty cool. And if you want to actually go to the desktop, you click there. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's nothing really new, but like just the way that it looks is new. And I don't know. I just think it's kind of cool. So I don't know. I guess that's pretty much it with the taskbar. Obviously, other than the looks, I mean, it's like twice as thick as the other one. Um, well, I guess I'll show you jump lists. Say, I'm not sure if. Yeah, here we go. These are um, recently played files. 24, um, Eagle Eye. Just a bunch of movies that I recently played. List, which is pretty cool. You can also do that in the Start menu, like Dreamweaver. If I were to come over here, it would show you what I've recently been working on, which is pretty cool. I think it's definitely a lot easier than having to. Let's say go into PowerPoint and hit open and find the file. It's pretty easy. All right, so the next thing I want to get to is performance. Um, if you saw my last video, I upgraded my computer from one gigabyte of RAM to two gigabytes, and it's been running a lot smoother. As you can see here, I have 1,916 megabytes. I'm just chilling. Well, and with the screen capture, it's using up around half. Um, my computer's been on for a while, so I guess if I restarted it, had it off for a few minutes and restarted it, then I'm sure it would be fine. Probably be at around 30. 
So it, it is still sort of a resource hog, however, it is definitely much improved from Vista. So I guess I'm just going to open a bunch of things here. And Photoshop. So as you can see, everything does open pretty good, pretty fast. And I'll do some more Firefox crazy action with the windows. And minimize all the tabs, minimize Photoshop. Still got a few things coming up. So, and as you can see, my computer usage like spiked, but now it's coming back down. It's it's making it through. It's making its way through. So you can have a lot of stuff open on Windows 7 and still have your computer be pretty good. For instance, my computer is an e-machines. I mean, that's not a very great brand of computers. My specs are an Intel Pentium D processor, 2.66 gigahertz, as you can see here, dual core, two gigs of RAM, and an ATI Radeon um, Express 200 card. So those aren't amazing specs, but Windows 7 does run pretty good on it. So I guess that's pretty much it for performance. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. And the next feature, feature I want to talk about is Snap 2. And this is a feature that I really did not like at first. I thought it was pointless. But as time's gone on, I've come to really like it, actually. And if you don't know, I'm sure you've seen this a million times if you've looked at Windows 7 videos. But basically, you can do some stuff like this. Yeah, there we go. You can snap to the sides of the screen. So, go to Google on this one. There you go. So let's say I wanted to just like let's go Mac. If I wanted to like copy a, a URL to a different window, for, I don't know why you would be using tabs, but this is just an example. And so I can easily do that. I can copy and paste or drag stuff, rename files, very easy. So that is a very nice feature, and you can maximize by going to the top, which I don't use maximize much. But if you, if you have like dual displays and you want to watch a movie on one, you can just do that and it maximizes it right away. So Snap 2, I do give Microsoft a lot of credit for this. This is something that's not in any other operating system. Um, they really, that is a nice feature. Once, like at first, I thought it was like a mistake. I didn't like it at all. But as time went on, and I really did use it. So it's, it is a nice feature. All right, so next I want to talk about the libraries. The libraries I find quite helpful, actually. Um, because they're just over here. I mean, this was kind of in Vista where you had the videos over here, you had pictures, you can add, like, if I wanted to drag documents over here, I could do it. So it's nothing really new, but it is pretty convenient that I can just access my videos, pictures, music, everything right from there. And so the network, I have, this is my computer. This is, I think, my, these are both my dad's computers, and this is my mom's computer. So the networking, I didn't do anything. It did it on its own. So that's very cool that it did that. It found all the other computers on the network. I seriously haven't touched this at all. In fact, I just noticed it. And so here's the printer. We have the wireless printer. So networking is definitely much easier in Windows. And so I don't know. I, I think that's really pretty much it. There's not really that much more to talk about. Uh, gadgets, I guess it'll bring up this little gadget thing. Um, I don't know. There's not much to talk about. There's no sidebar, but you can you can always do that in Vista. Like if you didn't want them on the side, you could drag them to wherever you wanted. If I wanted this over here, I could have it. It was always like that. That's nothing really new, but you know, it's kind of convenient. And as always, if I wanted to add another one, say calendar, you just double click it, and it should appear. So I don't know. A lot of the things are just carried over from Vista, but there are some new innovations like the Snap 2 and the Modified Taskbar, and which are all good things, and even just the basic performance of the operating system is much better than Vista. Um, like, like you saw before, I've, I've had all these programs open, and it was running fine, along with the screen recorder, which is Camtasia. I've had some questions. But yes, um, I'm probably just going to end this video. If you guys have any other questions, you know how to get at me. Twitter twitter.com slash cpu kid um, you can leave a message comment this video um, just don't like stalk me or anything because that's kind of creepy so i guess i'm just gonna end this video thanks for watching and overall windows 7 is much better i highly recommend trying the beta thanks